Hi there, everybody. It's Marty from OwingsArt.com. That's O-W-I-N-G-S-A-R-T.com. Thanks for stopping by today, and we're going to take a look at these Faber-Castell 9000 Art Set Pencils. Made in Germany. You can see the range there, 2H to 8B. Um, these are, uh, Faber-Castell says they are superior quality. We'll put them to the test and find out. But I, um, I've used these pencils for years and years, both in art and when I started out as a draftsman um, a long time ago. Um, these were the pencils uh, that I used, and they've been awesome uh, all through those many years. And if anything, they've improved a bit. So um, the first thing you notice when you <clears throat> open up this tin that it comes in visibly is the name Faber-Castell is on the pencils. All of the values are clearly um, marked on, on the pencil so that you know if you're holding an H or a 2B or an 8B or whatever. And then um, they're hexagonal in shape. They're six-sided. So, you know, I mention this because if you have a tilted work surface or a table that um, is at slight angle, these won't uh, necessarily roll right off. And that's kind of nice. That's if you're drafting or drawing, you want that. So here's what we'll do today. I'll take a look at each one of these pencils individually like this. We'll fast forward through some of that and just give you a, a sense of how, how good or how these pencils perform. And then I'll do some drawing with it. And then I'll show you, you know, in actual real time how these pencils uh, perform when put to the test in terms of drawing and things like that. Do some cross, cross hatching and whatnot. So um, again, these really are nice pencils, and I want to say, just first of all, thank you to Faber-Castell. One of the things that they do really well is they set the bar high in terms of quality control. Um, when you get a pencil, you're going to get a consistent experience with a Faber-Castell pencil. Um, you're going to get good, good quality in terms of uh, color if you're using a colored pencil like a polychromos or any of their other lines of colored pencil and you're just going to get a really good um, experience with the graphite as well. If, um, if Faber-Castell, uh, you know, wh here's what they do. They're, they set the bar high for other pencil manufacturers to try to achieve. Uh, Faber-Castell, Karen Dosh, some of the best pencils in the world um, do that well. And that's really great because it gives, gives sort of the other pencil companies something to go after and um, a way to try to, you know, match that quality. What I'm doing here is just testing out a little bit of the erasability on these. I've got this old um, eraser here and I'm just, uh, just going to rub through these and see, see how well they do. Well, this, the sphere drawing went pretty well. I enjoyed doing that. I used a variety of the pencils from the set on that, and that seemed to seem to go well. I like that. As you get into the softer ranges here, the erasability or the visibility of the mark on the paper is a little stronger, obviously, because the color is, is deeper and softer, and it works its way into the paper a little bit more. So, um, you know, that's why I recommend to people, I'm going to try to draw a face here while I'm talking, but recommend to people when they're starting out drawing. Uh, you learn this as you advance in drawing, but always start out light to the extent you can. Try to stay um, stay loose and stay light. That's kind of what I say to people. Um, and that, that can be helpful for, for a beginner as well. It's a hard thing to learn because you're like, I want to jump right into the detail, but um, I think I would encourage a little hesitation in that area. Start light because you can always erase and you can always, you know, pick the best marks from your light marks uh, to, to enhance or accentuate um, when you draw. So for this figure, I'm working in the ears here a little bit. I kind of uh, always draw these lines for the, for the eyes and nose and try to position the eyes just about at the top of the ears. I'm kind of buzzing through this guy, but this is a, an old man. I like, I like drawing old people uh, faces with lots of character. It's more interesting and more more fun to more of a challenge I think but anyway you know I'm starting I'm using a little bit darker pencils here as I work in some of the detail and drawing starts to shape take shape now his nose is is messed up right now but don't worry I'll, I'll get in there and fix that up in a minute here but uh, you can see I'm just starting to add his beard and again go back and work the detail as you go Let's see I'm just 
trying to improve the nose a little bit there and yeah, work through that. So anyway, that was uh, <laughs> my attempt at a quick uh, uh, portrait sketch or just a facial sketch. But overall, you know, it's like uh, th these pencils really perform well. And like I said, when I started out as a draftsman, you know, 30 some years ago, these were the pencils that I first used, that I was told to use, that um, people recommended as great pencils, and, um, and and they are, and they work well. Now, in drafting, you use, I tended to use a mechanical pencil, and the lead is always consistent. There's, it doesn't widen as you wear away the, the lead. And today I use a TK9400 um, Faber-Castell lead holder for most of my work, and then I go to these pencils um, from time to time for for roughing in detail or putting in putting in some uh, outline work and things like that. So I like using them and they're great pencils. Um, overall, I really like the idea that Faber-Castell sets the bar high in terms of quality and things. So overall, these pencils, just really great quality. They're not lying when they say they're superior. They have a very good range of values. The hardness feels just right. They're really easy to sharpen. Erasability is not bad at all. Just overall, Faber-Castell, just a fantastic job with these pencils. And just like with most Faber-Castell things, their markers, their, their colored pencils, they just really invest in quality. And I appreciate it because uh, as an end user, it's nice to know that investment's there and you can count on that consistency. And it sets the bar, like I said, higher for other pencil companies, which is good. And I think that competition um, makes for better, better stuff in the end. All right, well, thanks for stopping by today. Don't forget to drop a like, a little love on the channel, and uh, subscribe if you haven't already, and leave a comment or question. All right, take care, everybody. So long for now. This has been Marty for owingsart.com. <laughs>